Okay, welcome to tonight's chart focus. I'm going to start off with GNS. This is a perfect example for those of you who watched last night's video on tight range breakouts. This is absolutely perfect example of it today. Really tight range for the last couple of weeks. Um, so just a little rehash of last night. We'd set an alert for 61 and look at an entry on a break of 61. Um, stop loss at the bottom or even just halfway of the range, this is a pretty tight range so you could probably give it right to the bottom so maybe a 58 exit, so only risking 3 ticks there and once it broke it uh, took off quite nicely so a quick look at the intraday chart broke that range on really strong volume so that was a pretty quick scalp in this um, immediately on the break and just interestingly I had some fibs on this this afternoon if you missed that break run fibs from the top on the intraday to the bottom Bounced pretty much off the 50. In fact, you couldn't get any 63, 62 and a half. So it bounced off 63, uh, and so there was another entry there. Closed at 64 and a half, I think. So there wasn't much more in it after that, but um, it may well kick on tomorrow. But a perfect sculpt there of a tight range break uh, in GNS. All right, I'm going to have a look at a few charts now. I'm still a little undecided with these videos whether I'll continue to do them nightly, uh, just looking at charts of interest, or maybe just do two or three a week, uh, covering more generic um, trade setups and and commentary on on how we find trades and more tutorial based stuff rather than charts. I might just end up posting the charts on the blog nightly nightly instead. But I'll do some charts tonight. If you've got any thoughts, please send me your feedback. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but all right, here we go. A few I've mentioned. We'll focus on a few I've mentioned on uh, Twitter today. This one's ARV. That's a six month daily chart here. In a nice uptrend here. You can see a bit of a channel. Um, it's trading basically in a bit of a channel here. Knock those fibs off it. Sorry about that. So we're in a, a little bit of an uptrend channel here. It's trading pretty nicely basically in this channel. And a nice swing low here today on pretty decent volume as well. So the volume's definitely the best it's been in the last almost two weeks. Swung very nicely broken previous res there and now needs to tackle this res up here so um, certainly encouraging action today has a rights issue at, at 1 for 6 at 5.5 cents open at the moment which was holding it back there for a bit but seemed to break the shackles a bit today 8.1 is definitely the key for now uh, let's have a look at a, say a two year chart Just see plenty of upside from here on a two year chart big res here at 10 cents next night up to a 14 or 15 so and really good volume here in the last month or so so uh, one to watch I'm still holding some of those okay next one we're going to go to is EMR little micro cap stock that's a two year chart been in a bit of a downtrend as you can see looks like it's trying to round here so just given the strength of the micro caps lately it's it's why uh, this one's come up on my radar I can honestly say I haven't been in this many sub 10 cent stocks at one time in my life before and you would imagine that sooner or later it's all going to come crashing down but for now uh, in my opinion it's where all the action is and so I'll continue to trade them while they're running as hard as they are so there's a six months chart definitely broken the recent downtrend here bounced up to 2.7 nice little dip on relatively sh small volume and it's it's clawed back up to 2.7 today so needs to break a little bit of increase in volume but not as big as these days back here probably needs to break 2 million volume to to really um, be of interest but I've got a few looking for the break tomorrow uh, that's EMR next one we're going to look at is EKA Okay, there's a six month chart there. We'll have a quick look at the two year just to see what it's doing long term. So it's basically at 12 month highs here. Go back to that six so we can have a bit of a look. So 32 cents is the key here. 32 there. It actually touched 32 and a half back here on the 27th of September but couldn't close above there. Close at 32 and it's closed at 32 again. Little increase in volume in the last couple of days but really looking for a close above 32 here for it to kick on. 
but really nice interesting chart and um, a nice cup and handle pattern here if you've heard of a cup and handle there's the cup there and then the handle was a shallower dip so uh, a break of this high here and hopefully we'll be away I think I'm no real technician but I believe the target for a cup and handle pattern is the depth of the cup so you're looking at 32 down to 22 or something so that would put a 10 cent target on it um, see if we can get any more information that's a five-year chart we'll go to a five-year weekly obviously as a short-term trader I don't often look at five-year charts but if you put a 10 cent target onto the 32 you're looking up here at 42 odd and coincidentally or otherwise 41 44 odd 42 is fairly much the next level of res on the chart as well so quite plausible that we could get there if the markets behave themselves over the next week or two okay next one we're going to have a look at is GBE another rare earth play ARV which I mentioned earlier is gold and rare earth as well rare earth sector is still pretty much going mental so I've definitely been focusing on the rare earth plays okay that's a oh, I thought that chart was looking a bit thick that was weeklies all right back onto dailies there's a 12 month we'll, we'll go to six month nice swing here volume has been increasing on every day over the last week or so as it approaches this previous high up here of uh, 47.5 couldn't quite do it today but I'll be watching this one tomorrow to see if it can break through to uh, to new highs there just go to a two year chart might have to go right back to a five year chart so a lot of these things are at two year highs at the moment uh, but if you go back as far as a five year chart you can see there's a there's a um, lot more potential upside if the markets continue to behave themselves so on the longer term chart resistance around 55 uh, and then up from there but 5560 appears to be the next real resistance on that one okay next one we'll go to we'll have a quick look at AVB I think I've mentioned this one a couple of times uh, that's AVB there it had a strong run right up to 23 and a half 24 I think it was after some uh, results of iron ore news big director selling actually caused this dip I believe it directed sold quite a substantial amount and obviously investors have lost confidence in this stock but just starting to bounce today the swing starting to shape the only concerning thing for me with this one is the volume hasn't really kicked in yet so I'd certainly want to see the volume more up around this bar at least tomorrow if this swing continues to give me a little bit of confidence that this swing has some legs but still worth watching in my opinion all right, I'm just going to have a look at two um, stocks that I'm short at the moment as well. Uh, just trying to balance my portfolio. I always try to have a, uh, a balance of shorts and longs, if at all possible, just to take the overnight exposure down a little. So this is FMG. It's been running very strongly over the last couple of months, as you can see. I might pull this one down to a three-month chart or so. It's been powering on, especially in the last uh, couple of weeks from... 540 odd up to as high as 660 now it looks to be making a lower high here it's tried twice to bounce the last couple of days and it's started to fail but we'll go to an intraday chart hasn't really broken support yet so pretty strong support around 630 it's dipped under it a little but hasn't really broken through so uh, watching FMG for a break of this 630 odd support as far as stops break of this high here would, would get me out of there so that's 648 as far as targets you might want to put um, some fibs on this the most obvious target if there's any sustained downside would be right down to fill this gap back down to five dollars eighty but we could put some fibs on this on this this is the intraday chart and just see if we can get any sort of indication maybe we put it on that last range there oh that's not a fib is it okay we could put it on this last range here from the previous height of that low there interestingly all this support is coming right on the 50 percent line of that range so the next down is just above 620 kind of picks up the resistance over here and here as well um, and then I would expect maybe down here somewhere sort of high sixes low 610 may uh, provide another area where it may want to bounce but yeah if the market does get terribly weak we might even see it fill this gap right down to 580 odd who knows okay so that's FMG 
and the last one I'm going to have a look at is LYC, which is a rare earth play. Again, I, I've shorted a very small amount of LYC, and it's probably more uh, our hedge, as I've got quite a few rare earth positions long. And so when you see one that looks like maybe it's rolling over, then kind of hedges my exposure in that area. Uh, so here's a 15 minute chart. Has made a lower high here. Hasn't really broken this support. So I've gone a little early just to hedge my longs overnight in case US does have a, a soft night. Support was at 65, I think from memory. Yeah, 65 is quite strong support. And it's just tipped under it, but only just. So could quite feasibly bounce straight back up here and end up being in a bit of a channel pattern maybe through there and through there we may be in a bit of a trading channel here for now but if it if it does fail the support chart suggests possibly next stop would be down here around dollar sixty two then from there again we could probably whack some fibs on it see whether that gives us any indication of where we may find now with this one it's pretty hard to know where to go down to but if we go down to the bottom of the last run it's at 38 now so it doesn't really give us any clues I suppose maybe we go right down to the bottom the previous support down here we'll see what that gives us interestingly again the supports on a fib so that's 62 um, the 50s around the dollar 62 which again picks up that previous resistance so it's uncanny how often these lines uh, if drawn from relevant places do tend to pick up some of these key areas of support and resistance and I very much wasn't a FIB believer in the past but um, starting to come around a little so maybe that area there and then down here to maybe 159 or something like that if, if the 38 um, comes into play but there are a few areas to keep in mind alright that's it for tonight uh, like I said I'd love to hear your comments as to whether you'd like me to continue uh, doing the charts as a video each night or maybe just do a couple of week uh, fo focusing a little bit more on how to's and setups and so on and keep the charts on the blog uh, so I hope to hear from you read that otherwise I'll talk to you tomorrow